Last week on the Epic Family Road Trip, we headed out on the trail with Sean from the story till now in the backcountry of Moab, Utah. We drove the Onion Creek Trail until we were turned around by a challenging hill ahead of us, and Peter's bike needing a repair after it was damaged while he attempted to drive the steep and rocky hill. In this week's video, we continue on our way out of Onion Creek as the sun sets below the canyon walls as we head back to Moab. All right, so we got the repair done on Pete's bike and waited about three hours for it to set. And we're working our way out now as the sun goes down up these uh, rocky, rough trails. But we should be all right. We got plenty of lights with our KC Pro 6 headlamps so we're fine we take our time if we don't break anything on the way out of here we'll be good to be driving through the desert at night as our KC lights lit up the canyon walls around us.
end of the trail, we aired up our tires before heading into Moab, where we spent the night at Slick Rock State Park before making the drive down to Valley of the Gods. It was awesome to be back in Valley of the Gods in southeastern Utah. This is an epic backcountry area near Mexican Hat with scenery similar to that of Monument Valley. Driving through these unbelievable landscapes almost feels like we're driving on a different planet. The isolated buttes, towering pinnacles, and vast, unique desert landscapes are mesmerizing. A sandy 17-mile dirt and gravel trail winds through the valley. There are some steep sections, and it can be impassable when wet from rain but it's an all-around fun trail that takes you into the remote desert and gives access to some epic spots to camp. We ended up picking the camp spot we stayed at a few years ago across from the famous Castle Butte with a beautiful view of the valley. Once we got into camp, we didn't end up filming that evening, as it was quite cold and rainy, but we had a great evening with Sean and Dave. The next morning, we woke up to a beautiful sight of the sun rising in the distance and a blanket of fog drifting through the valley in rock formations. As soon as the sun started to rise, it started to warm up the valley and we got coffee and breakfast going. Mountain man breakfast. We got kielbasa sausage, some hot sausage, <laughs> and some bacon. And we've kind of run out of eggs. We have about three eggs left, so we'll put them all together, and I think it's going to be delicious. Today we plan to head to Monument Valley, so we packed up our camp and headed out of Valley of the Gods to drive south. Valley of the Gods was too busy with Thanksgiving traffic. So the boys and Sean decided to see the valley in a different form of overlanding, horseback riding. The Monument Valley KOA down the road provides private horseback riding tours of the area with beautiful views of the monuments. This is a really cool way to experience this awesome place. All right, guys, we're on the trail here. And uh, yeah, 
I mean, it's just like, just like being in an old Western movie. I got a really good horse here, Miles. This is awesome, man. Yeah. <laughs> From Monument Valley, we headed to Gooseneck State Park to camp for the night. On the way, we stopped to eat dinner in Mexican Hat, where we have gone almost every time we pass through here. Gooseneck State Park is one of our favorite spots. Alright, so we just had a great meal in uh, Mexican Hat, and now we're at Goosenecks, uh, one of our favorite scenic places to camp and uh, we're heading the boys went up and found a camp spot way down there so we're coming across this very bumpy road and uh, we'll set up camp and hopefully it doesn't get too cold tonight. We drove along the canyon edge to find a camp but no matter where you camp here you are provided with an epic view. We found a spot just as the sun set. All right, got camp set up. Got an amazing view all around, but the sun's going down, so we'll show you what we're camped on in the morning. For now, I think we're just gonna get in our tent, our knee tent on the trailer there, that little room, and just uh, hang out for a bit and then get some sleep. How's camp? Sean to just give us a quick rundown on what he's got here in terms of uh, generating power and getting power to charge up his cameras, his drones, all that stuff. We have the, the exact same system, we just haven't got it installed yet. We're going to be doing that this winter when we do phase two of our build. But yeah, tell us about it, uh, your Red Arc, Sean. Yes, yeah, so we got the uh, Red Arc Red Vision system here, which is running off of a 200 amp hour Discover lithium battery. Um, so basically this is a full power management system. Uh, we can charge the battery from the alternator, from solar, or from uh, shore power. There's a, there's a socket on the other side that we can plug in an extension cord into. And then basically I'm using this for uh, charging stuff for the most part. Uh, we got to uh, put some camera foam in here so that we can uh, store a drone, drone controller, drone batteries. Got a power bar here, it's wired into the system. It's got USB and uh, AC plugs on it, so whatever we need to plug into power, we can do that. Uh, this is a 2000 watt inverter down here. We made a little custom shelf here so that uh, it doesn't waste too much space. And uh, we can store the Jackery 1000 up here and this uh, charger is wired directly into the to the Red Arc system so that it, is, it can always be charged up whenever we need power that's away from the truck. Uh, for example, uh, David, who's with me uh, filming a documentary, takes this to his tent at night so that he can run his laptop. So that's useful for stuff like that. Got a drone charger mounted here. And then the, uh, the display system on the Red Vision is really cool. It shows you um, where all your power is coming from. So right now it's pulling in from solar. Um, it's got switches for your devices. We added some lighting so that you can see uh, at night and also light up a little bit of the camp area. It tells you how many uh, watts of solar you've got coming in, 
uh, each day and uh, where all your loads are and stuff like that. So it's a super cool system. In the back, which uh, might be a little buried here, we made a custom box for the uh, lithium battery, which is kind of hard to see, but down there. Yeah, it's, it's a beautiful system. It's very clean, yeah. very neat how it's, it's packed in there. It functioned uh, pretty much flawlessly. We had, it failed once during the trip and we figured out it was just a loose connection on the oh, battery. Okay. But uh, with all the bouncing around and everything, yeah. like it's been flawless for me. Without this, I'd be, be practically crippled. Right. For, I'd be trying to power everything off of the alternator and it would just be a nightmare. So. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Very nice. No notes there. <laughs> all right, guys. All good things must come to an end. Sean and David are going to head north now. Uh, we've had a blast together out here. Absolutely. And uh, if you don't follow the story till now, you've got to follow it um, for some great adventures. Um, David, if you've noticed on our videos, has been here filming a documentary. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what you are doing here? Yeah, so we uh, decided to make a film about uh, you guys, about Sean, first of all, yeah. about how it is to be like doing off-roading and living in the wilderness and uh, camping and making actually income doing that using YouTube and I think that most people think that it's a uh, um, it's fun for sure but it's it's easy everyone can do it and uh, this is first time for me as well so I decided to take my camera and live with Sean uh, Paul and other guys and with you guys for 14 days and there's two more days to go home or three and see how it is and I can tell you it's not easy and I'm hoping that this will be very well documented and we're going to release it in our own uh, platform we call it online cinema of inspiring stories stories.stream and hopefully by spring it will be ready and it will give audience a kind of an idea what it's like to uh, make a living with what you love and living a simple life they're gonna put a link below for everything so check it out and uh, we'll see you down the road we'll see you down the road <laughs> Stay tuned for next week's episode of the Epic Family Road Trip as we head west to Anza Borrego Desert to meet up with our good friends Brad of Trail Recon, Marco of Overland X, and some more awesome Overlanders for another epic adventure.